Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Shirley Had a Baby. I'm Jessica Rose. I'm known for making moms laugh and baby daddies punch the air. But today, specifically in this video, I'm gonna be talking about what my goals are as a creator for the rest of 2024. I know that there's only four months left in the year of 2024, but it's August, it's my birthday, Leo season. My birthday just passed and I feel like it's a new year, new me, new goals, write them down, talk about them, make a YouTube video, post it, all of the things. Hopefully this video will help inspire you with some of your goals as a creator for the rest of 2024 and inspire me to take myself and my discipline about content creation much more seriously so that I can hit, achieve, maintain, and potentially even surpass some of these goals. So the first goal is weekly YouTube content. It is my goal to ideally every Thursday have a video piece of content out on Thursdays at 9 a.m. It didn't happen last week, but I did do it for <laughs> for about three weeks in a row. And even though I fell off last week, I wasn't gonna let that stop me from showing up this week. Life be happening. The goal is definitely to get ahead on content so it doesn't feel like so much pressure. I'm not boxing myself in about what kind of content. I just want to get in the habit of showing up on long form video and long form content, editing it and putting it out. I have a substantial following on YouTube, but my engagement here is trash. Honestly, it's really bad. And a part of that is because some of you know that a couple years ago, I briefly may or may not have joined a Christian cult where I deleted all of my content on my YouTube channel that performed really well um, because I thought that it was sin. There's a playlist on my channel called That Time That I Joined a Cult. If you want to learn more about that or watch a really weird period in my life, please don't judge me, okay? Nonetheless, I tanked the channel, but I do still believe that there's an audience here that I can tap into and keep it in the flow. It's a channel that's still monetized, but in order for me to earn the trust back, the algorithms trust back, if not my followers and communities trust back, I need to at least show up weekly. So that's a goal for 2024, is to have weekly YouTube content coming out. I'm not even stressing myself out about not having the setup that I desire. Although I will say, for my birthday, my partner got me this camera that I've been eyeing. It's the Sony ZV-E10. Um, I'm really excited about using this camera. We're waiting on the lens to come and I'm really excited. I think that this is gonna help me with my goal of creating content and being more consistent. But like I said, whether I have the lights, the cameras, the setup that I want, I'm still gonna show up and I'm gonna create content and build my engagement and build my community back up here. I do truthfully believe that if you have an engaged audience on YouTube, you'll have an engaged audience everywhere else. And YouTube is a long form content platform. They at least prioritize long form content. I know a lot of the social media platforms are making long form content more of a thing now. I think on TikTok you can do over 10 minute videos, I believe now and things like that. But YouTube is definitely still the place for that. It's also one of the platforms that pays better when you really take the time and the effort to get into long form content. Short form content feels like it's easier to get out, but in the long run, at least for me, it's burnt me out really, really quickly. So again, weekly vlogs, weekly content, whatever it is, Thursdays at 9 a.m. Hold me accountable. If you guys don't see that video, say, hey girl, I watched that video about your creator girls for 2024 and I'm trying to figure out why it's Thursday at 9 a.m. PST and your video's not up. <laughs> Let's talk money. So one of my goals for the remainder of 2024 is to get at least $10,000 in brand partnerships. And yes, that's over the course of the next four months. I say and yes like that because there was a period of time in my social media content creator journey where 10, 15, $20,000 brand deals were regular. And the thought of it taking four months to get $10,000 it's still drawing to me because the climate of brand deals has just changed so much on social media. But last month I brought in about $2,700 in brand deals on social media. 
And so I just figured that I would shoot for getting at least that every month as a goal for the rest of 2024 because I got those deals without even pitching myself. And I also got a new couch too, which was really cool. It's an awesome couch, I love it very much. So if I was able to get that without pitching, I definitely think there's a possibility that I can go over the $10,000 goal. But if I can make at least $10,000 for the remaining for the remainder of 2024 in brand partnerships, I'll be content with that. Luckily for me, I have a couple of jobs. Um, the random money that I do make on social media, the money I make from YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, random payouts there for AdSense and ad revenue that runs on the content that I put out. And then I am a social media specialist for a PR agency, so I run social media accounts for other people like a social media manager creating and editing content and then i work the marketing department for an education and equity company as a full-time corporate gig so just a little bit over two thousand dollars a month while that will not get you far as far as survival in los angeles california all it is is bonus money to me right now because i did decide to go back to the corporate girly life the nine to five life. If you guys want more content about that, make sure you let me know in the comments. Another goal that I have is to launch new merch. I have two ideas. It's really one idea for two different things. I wanna come out with tote bags and shirts slash hoodies. And I'm really excited. It's a very simple design. It's not going to take much effort. I am still doing my merch, my baby daddy tears cups through drop shipping now instead of taking on, honestly, the huge task of personalizing everything from the packaging to the actual product itself. And I've just decided to go back to drop shipping, which isn't as high of a profit, but at the same time, it's less effort. You gotta pick your battles. And for me, personalization on packaging and items right now is not the preference. Like I said, I'm doing a lot. So yeah, I wanna launch these two new products and then also do a much better job of promoting my Baby Daddy Tears cups and incorporating them into my content to keep that as a stream that's going. There's a part of me that that may eventually want to try to run ad spend on these products. I feel like they're very, I don't think evergreen is the word, but they're so simple, just text-based products that relate to such a very specific niche of people, which is black single moms. But I am terrified of the idea of starting to put ad money behind content and then these platforms treating me as a pay for play client. So I, right now I'm staying away from that. I feel blessed that I've been able to build up the audience and following that I have. And I just need to be more consistent about pushing the merch that I have. And by the end of 2024, I want to have launched the new products that I have been thinking about doing. And the cool thing about it being a tote and like a shirt is I think that the product being a shirt is gonna make it so much more easy for me to constantly be promoting in my content because I could just be wearing the shirt or having it on in a video or holding the bag. It's a little bit more of a natural incorporation than a coffee cup, which I love and I use all the time. Um, I love my Baby Daddy's Tears cup, but at the same time, it's just not as easy to incorporate into the content. Another goal that I have is I would really like to build up my Patreon community. I spent the past two months going really hard, logistically at least, on planning out these super packed out months of things that would be happening within my Patreon community. For two months straight, I had a book club going, I had a sober circle going, I had a creator corner going, I had exclusive content going in there, but my Patreon had really lost its momentum as far as engagement and as far as patrons, literal patrons that were there because I've spent a lot of time ghosting that avenue. So I don't blame people, it's a paid platform. But my goal by the end of 2024 would definitely be to get to 100 patrons. I think the most patron members I've ever had is around 55, almost 60. And at $5 a month, I'm not mad at people just supporting the content that I'm already doing. But I would love to really build this up and hit this goal of hitting at least 100 patreon members and i'm going to do that by starting to more specifically hone in on one thing at a time i think that my problem with the patreon as far as growing it the past couple months i was expecting much more growth because i was putting this effort into putting together these schedules and doing these elaborate things and yeah no that 
wasn't working because there wasn't one specific thing that I was giving the time or a chance to build up. So right now I'm focusing on positioning my Patreon as a place for people to go through a ton of old content that I have exclusive content. It's also the only place that you can physically watch my podcast, She Really Had a Baby, which I also need to keep up with and start putting episodes out for again. But we'll get to that on another goal or, or maybe another year. I don't know. One, one thing at a time, one goal at a time. There's only so much a girl can do, right? But yeah, so if you're interested, this video is coming out Thursday, which means that this Sunday, if you would like to join the creator call, feel free to do so. I'm gonna be hosting Creator Corner on Sunday, which means you can come in and ask me any questions that you have about content creation or monetization. Also just a shameless plug and call out, all of my digital products are behind my Patreon paid wall. I used to sell them on an individual basis on my website. But I stepped away from doing that and now you can get both of my ebooks that are about content creation and content monetization by joining as a Patreon member and then downloading it. And hopefully you see some stuff behind the paid wall that makes you want to stay. But yes, my goal is to continue to implement strategies and things that are going to assist with me getting to 100 Patreon members. The next goal is more original content. I think that doing videos long form and showing up weekly on YouTube is definitely going to help because I'll obviously have clips here and there to pull from. But just in general, even when I am doing short form content, I really want to stop feeling like I have to show up in the trendy way that other people do. It's my pet peeve as someone that is actually creative and has all of these awesome ideas to constantly see people doing the same exact thing over and over and over and over again. And I'm not knocking anyone that does this because we see that it works. We see that there's growth. We see that that is what the algorithm and the people clearly want. But at the same time as a creative, especially now that I'm more removed having a stable income and being a corporate girly and freelancing and not being so dependent on the ad revenue side of things that I don't always have to be putting out content 24 seven. It feels cringe to watch the same thing over and over and over again. So another one of my goals is to focus on original content. I have a notes app on my phone. Everyone, everyone has a notes app on their phone, Jessica. Come on, get it together, get it together. But on my notes app, I have a tab where when random video ideas come to my head for short form content, I write it down. And my goal is to start executing those, like maybe even once a week. I need to get caught up on the ideas that are there. And I think that once the lens comes for my camera that I will be even more motivated to shoot authentically frame for frame, put it together, edit it more short skit style things, even if they are short and trendy, just original pieces of content. That's the goal, original content. The next goal is going to be difficult for me. It's gonna be difficult for me because I have a goal for 2024 to try to be more family friendly. And it's not because I wanna switch up who I am as a person, but it's because your girl got goals, okay? I get it. I'm a little all over the place and I desire to show up as myself, still be funny, but kind of reel it in a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I've been telling jokes about some crazy stuff and see, I know I'm on track with my goals because I was about to say the things I've been telling jokes about and I know that even that is inappropriate. So I'm just working on trying to figure out how do I balance who I am, my personality, my humor, and make it show up in what my partner called Disney humor. We were sitting here watching TV and they were like, why don't you try to do things like Disney does where they kind of slide it in. It's not as blatantly obvious. And then that still makes you a certain type of brandable. I love being myself. I love being a little chaotic and I'm still going to always find a way to work that in. But y'all, sometimes your girl just don't be caring at all. And my goal is to start caring more. My goal is to start caring more. I wanna be taken seriously. I have great ideas. I have a great audience. I have a huge platform. There's no reason that I should not be in some of the rooms that I see other people in. There's no reason that I shouldn't be getting the opportunities that I see other people getting. And I do realize and acknowledge that a part of that is me not always being so family friendly. So am I ever going to fool be this Disney girl? Absolutely not. You know what? Absolutely the fuck not. <laughs> like it's just, it's not gonna happen. But at the same time, I can definitely make more of an effort to think, you know, maybe this is a close friends piece of content. Maybe this joke, maybe I can just get this joke out of my system on close friends. Because I like doing stuff like that, but I also 
like monetizing my platforms. I like having great opportunities. Just being more mindful and seeing where that gets me. At the end of the day, I am already a fat black woman. So my opportunities in these very aesthetically curated places already are a little bit dwindled down. But I, I can make more of an effort to not push myself even further down the bucket of crabs or whatever the the metaphor is. This next goal, I've already started doing it and I'm really proud of myself. I need to use my branding more. I have an incredible website. I have specific brand colors and fonts and logos and I paid a lot of money for them when I was in my digital marketing era and I was raking in the dough, teaching y'all and putting y'all on game with stuff. And I paid someone a lot of money for all of these things. And I think that if I use my branding more, throughout my social channels, throughout my, you know, captions on my videos, using the right colors, even on my Instagram stories, and the way that I edit my YouTube videos, like I want more brand consistency. My brand has always been such a personal brand and it's been so on a whim and random. I have not had to rely on aesthetic, but I do think that there is something special about just bringing that together. I wish that social platforms made it easier to do so, like how Canva has brand kits and it's so easy to just implement your brand colors into everything. They make everything a competition with one another, which sucks, but I am being more intentional about taking that extra step and using my pink and my purple and my yellow as my caption colors um, on videos, whether it's short form, long form, um, my thumbnails on YouTube. I'm just trying to be overall branded so that in 2025, when you go to my pages, you're like, oh, that's Jessica Rose. That she really had a baby. A clean cut aesthetic. A clean cut aesthetic will make me happy. This next goal is hard for me because it feels cringe to say, but I really want to spend 2024 positioning myself as more of an entertainer and like socialite-ish way. I don't know how to say that without it sounding weird because it's not like, oh, like I don't want it to get bougie. My brand is so like, I can't believe I'm not in a bonnet right now. I'm definitely just like your average mom and I, and I love that for me, but I am really funny and I have great ideas and I want to be in more spaces and rooms with people that I can network and collaborate with. But also I know a lot. I did not take a traditional route with schooling. I did not take a traditional route with life, no college education, high school dropout. There's a lot of things that I decided to not traditionally do. And through that, I've had a lot of life experience. And I feel like when it comes to social media and marketing, that's the same exact experience that I've had the same way I haven't had a traditional literal life I haven't had a traditional work experience but that doesn't make me not a value in these spaces so in 2024 I am hoping to just really secure myself more speaking hosting networking opportunities going to more PR events I am speaking next week at an event in DC called ProCon, which is a space for PR, media, and communications pros. And I'm hosting a, um, a workshop session called Connections Over Clout that I'm really, really excited about. I'm gonna be talking about community building and social media. So just doing more stuff like that. That feels like the path that I wanna take. And I know I'm not gonna be able to do a whole bunch of it at the tail end of 2024, but I'm hoping that at least once a month I can get some kind of an opportunity like that, like speaking at ProCon, that's gonna put me in a trajectory of 2025 being my year of really mastering and tapping in with that. My last two goals kind of go hand in hand. Um, the, the second to last one is I, I really have a goal as a creator to just become way more confident in who I am. I think that is very easy as someone that constantly puts themselves out there and, you know, big Leo energy constantly said is that I don't care about what anyone else thinks. It's easy to kind of hide behind that. And there are a lot of insecurities. There's a lot of self-doubt that I struggle with, especially since, you know, I was doing this creator thing full time. Um, there, there's a part of me that feels like I have failed in a lot of ways. But I also know that the climate and the, the temperature of social media in general there's a shift happening there's a shift happening there's a collective shift that a lot of people are feeling and experiencing and i know i'm not the only creator that's went back to the nine to five um but i, I just want to have an overall confidence about the fact that none of that matters and i'm still a really 
funny, talented, creative person who people enjoy watching, people enjoy engaging with. And I want to continue to show up with that confidence in my content and not let a lack of confidence stop me from pursuing opportunities, endeavors, ideas of any kind. And that goes alongside my next goal of getting into improv classes. I think that if I start getting into improv classes, it is going to substantially help me with my confidence on the spot because a lot of the things that I want to do do involve me maybe getting on a mic, maybe hosting an event, maybe talking more frequently on panels or speaking engagements. And in order for me to feel confident doing that, I need to be more confident on the fly. I'm even gonna give myself some confidence right now because your girl ain't too bad at it. Do you know what I'm saying? I get it all the time that I'm funny on the spot, that I'm this, that I'm that, and I love that for me, but I also need to be confident and sure of it for myself. And a part of doing that is going to be investing into improv classes. And I think that will also be another opportunity for me to network, make friends, get outside the house. I have been in the house, booed up, cooking dinner, raising the children, the child, the dog, cleaning the home, working the jobs. like. Where, where's mama's social life and how do I mix it to be with the social life that I want, which is more of a networky boss up vibe. In 2024, all of these goals together <laughs> mean that I want to boss up, that I'm going to boss up. And I am very excited about bringing you guys along that journey, showing up weekly on YouTube so that you guys can keep track of it. I guess at the end of 2024, checking in with y'all and seeing like, what have I done from this video that I said I was going to do? What did I surpass? Cause we're not gonna say what didn't I get to, we're gonna get to all of it. Confidence, baby. <laughs> so that's it guys. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you are a creator that has goals for the rest of 2024 or just goals at all, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and tap in with me. If you enjoyed my content here on YouTube, I appreciate you. My handle is this is Jessica Rose on Instagram and on TikTok. On Twitter, it's this is Jess Rose. I can't tell you the last time I tweeted, but just to put it out there, you know, just on the just on the fly chance, the fly zippity roo doo 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 da that this video takes off for some reason. You have all the information that you need, and I will see you next Thursday at 9 a.m.